I mean, you know, money is usually one of the biggest issues in marriages. Have you guys discussed it? Oh, no, no, not really. Hey guys, welcome to Little Black Book. You really know what time it is. Aha, aha, aha. You're the one I want to before my liver starts to fail. You're the one I need oh, before cassava starts to heal. Let's stop that because I don't know the rest of the lyrics and I'm reading it off the screen. Ga 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 Alright guys, listen. Boom! Boom 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 boom! We got another uh, video for you! We got a new review which I'm gonna start doing as well. I love this show. I start watching it. Um, it's called um, Skinny Girl in Transit and it's an African show, Nigerian predominantly um, based and um, it's on season 5 and I want to go back and review some of the episodes in season 5 because we're already on episode 8. But I picked out something that I wanted to review on to show to you guys and I think it's quite evident and quite prominent um, to talk about actually. So... Uh, okay, so who is going to be the main provider? Okay. I am... In the actual video, there's actually a scene where um, the characters um, Tiwa and Jide are talking. Because <laughs> you know someone got to bring the Africa now. Um, uh, yeah, so there's a, a scene where um, Jide and Tiwa are actually talking. And they're talking to a therapist. and uh, Sorry, they shouldn't say therapist. A counsellor, uh, a marriage counsellor before they get married. And I think this is a key thing because I think a lot of relationships don't actually take time to assess certain things. So sometimes we... You know, we assume certain things about the other person or about our relationship, which we haven't actually discussed. And so this is a very in, uh, important um, next few moments, minutes. I'm going to explain some certain things that actually happen. As always, you know how we do. Are you mad? Are you mad? Are you lean? Don't forget to like, share and subscribe, baby. A gege. And if you don't know what a gege means, it's a word that basically means it's mad. I mean, it's a gege. Let's get it popping. Let's get it rocking. Let's get it... Okay, let's stop that. Cool. All right. So the first thing I want to say is that um, the the counselor asked a very leading question, and when I say leading, it means it was put across to start off. It was put across to start a beef, basically. Okay, so, who is going to be the main provider? Okay, I am. Um... The question of who's the main provider doesn't really count now. There is a there's a question which comes across, which is um, gender roles, and I think this is where a lot of people are going to trip up. Yes, in gender roles, the man is evidently most of the time put across as provider. But I want you to understand that in 2018, women are not short of intelligence. They're not short of knowledge. And they are more than capable of doing a lot of the jobs that males do even better than the males are doing it right now. I always told you in the, ad, in garden, in the garden, Adam was made before Eve. Now, when you make a phone, it's always the phone first that comes out, which is the predecessor. But it's not better than the newer one that comes out. All right, so when God makes a second one after, you better believe that the second one was better than the first. But just deep this, I'm not saying that men are not, um, are recru uh, are not needed. We're definitely needed. We, we play a role. But I want you to understand your role as a male is not defined solely by financial. Don't get it twisted. Financial is very, very important. And in fact, it plays into our masculinity and it plays into the gender role of being a male. Do not get that twisted. I'm not saying that. But you haven't discussed it. Actually, I earn more, so I think it's just proper for me to be the breadwinner. And if, what I am saying is, your role is not solely dependent upon. You see, if we were playing um, football, right, the striker, yes, his main um, job is to score goals, but he's not solely judged on just scoring goals. Because if today you don't score a goal, but today you made an assist, you pass the ball to someone else to score a goal, we're still winning as a team. And that's the most important thing, knowing that you are a team. Some of you males don't know you're a team. Some of you males think that you're the captain and everybody else here is not even a team member. They are, they are part of the subs bench. And you're not. A captain still leads a team. And what does a captain do? It just means that when things are chips are down, he drives the team forward more. Deep it. You're playing a role. It means more responsibility. It does not mean that I'm better than you or you're better than me. It just means that when the chips are down, we look to you to sturdy the ship. You know, I remember a time at work back in the day, yeah, where we had a crisis at work. And I didn't know what to do, but I turned to my leader. She was a female. And she said, this is what we're going to do. Boom, 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 boom. In the time of crisis, after that, I never, ever disrespected her again. Do you know why? Because in a time of crisis, I realized, God damn, when the ship was sinking, 
I turned to you and you knew what you was doing. You definitely are a captain. And that's how you earn your strike as a captain. If a male wants to show leadership skills, it is not when the chips are up. It's when the chips are down. When the ship is beginning to sink, what are you about to do? When Titanic is going down, what are you about to do? Because that will let us know what kind of leader you are. God damn, baby. And if I got another job and I earned more? Is that why you took the job with ABC Media? No, for fulfillment. I don't... Sir. Mm. That. You know what this is? Right now, this is that coconut, lime, pineapple. When we get off that thing and come back to the actual video, we're room. So, um, who's a main provider in 2018? I want you guys to understand, listen. Women, you can be a provider to. Males, you are a provider to. When it comes to, uh, what we are talking about though is the case of the fact that, yes, a woman may be laid off for nine months having a child and she may actually be laid off um, con for a little while after the child is born. This is a conversation that you need to be had. Uh, guys, can I just be real? If you're in a relationship right now or going into a relationship, can you consider having this conversation? What are you going to do when, uh, you know, uh, we have a kid? You need to ask your wife that. And your wife needs to ask you the same, I mean, your, your girlfriend needs to ask you and your, your, the boyfriend needs to ask the girlfriend the same question. What are we planning to do when we have a kid? And the reason I need to ask that question is because when you, you don't want to wait till you get to that point and now you're arguing over that situation. What this video shows us is that basically that when this is not discussed, this becomes an issue because people are assuming. Did you get me? Cool. And married. My mom did it. And she didn't break her marriage. Your mom did it and they're perfectly fine. So do you want me to stop working when we get married? I just don't want you to stress yourself. Do you understand? See what we're saying. Uh, so you want me to stop working when we get married? No, no one's actually asking that. Um, I think any man who asks a woman to, to stop working, I mean, unless you're earning peas, and I mean peas, cuz, yeah, um, I don't think you have any right to tell your woman to stop working. Two, I think you have to be very, very careful in this day and age of saying a woman shouldn't work and a man should, be, or a man telling a woman not to work because of the fact, one, a lot of you are not financially in that place to even say that. Two, um, it becomes a, a scary proposition when you've got a male who, uh, who, who earns all the money and now has all the power in the relationship. Deep it, yes, I said it, power, because money is power. It is a form of power. What does money mean? It means it's a sphere of influence. That's why we call it currency. The current flow gives you power and influence. As the money is flowing, it allows you to have influence. The moment the money stops, the moment the current stops, no more power, no more influence. A joke. So you want me to come cap in hand to you every time I need something? Maybe please, I need money to buy a pad. Maybe please, I need money for food in the come house. Come on, come on, come on. Whatever is mine is yours. My money is yeah, your so money. Deep it that obviously within the relationship, money is power. So therefore, women, if you do not work, you do not earn money. Yes, you'll be stripping yourself of a type of power in that relationship and you are leaving yourself exposed for a man who could potentially abuse all that power. Kanye West said it best. No man should have all that power. Why? Because absolute power corrupts. My mother was put on an allowance. I do not want that for myself. I don't need that kind of dependency. Whatever it is you need, Siwa, whatever it is you need. Should a woman lean on a man for financials? No. I think she said it. She said like her mum had been in that position before and it's like, why should she be waiting on hand or foot? Absolutely right. I said it again. And the reason why I said that is because there is openness for abuse. Unfortunately, men are men. Human. And humans are fallible. Okay? And so when you give that man that much power over you by saying, you know, I'm going to lean on you financially, a lot of times the men abuse it. Next, you know, you find yourself in a situation where you're saying you can't go out. You can't go out because you ain't got money now. Uh, you can't buy this. You want to buy this. But no, I'm not letting you buy it because I've got the money. Um, why is he doing that? Because he's got the strings to the purse. Um, should you have a joint account going into a relationship? Absolutely, yes. And you should have your own account too. Is that a bloody moth? I don't bloody believe it. No, it's a ladybug. Even worse, cuz. All right, ladybug, I need you to bounce. You're on my lights. I don't like it. So, are you going to run a joint account? Yeah, yeah. Dum, 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 dum. So, um, <laughs> uh, gay, gay. Um, yeah, so we're saying in the sense of what, should you have a joint account? Absolutely, yes, because bills got to get paid. And I think if you leave it into everyone paying the money when they need to pay it for, people miss, miss uh, payments and then start making excuses. And somebody might be bad with money in a relationship. Let's put the money into a joint account, let it pay all the bills. 
Now, should you have your own account? Bloody yes, you should. All right, male and females. And here's why. I don't want to have to. I don't. I do not want to have to ask you, babe. Can I buy a pair of trainers? No, no, no. I'm gonna buy a bloody pair of trainers because I want to buy a pair of trainers. You know what I'm saying? I'm buying that with the money that I have left out of the money I pay for the bills. Once we settle all the bills. And every money's and that includes the food, that lights, the gas, everything electric, everything like that, nothing for the baby, whatever you gotta do, all of that is in a joint account, that gets paid off. Any money left over now is for whatever I want to do with it. Do you get me? Now we've got if we've got plans to go out or whatever, yes, I'm including that into the money. But I'm saying in terms of I wanna go out and buy a bag. You know what I'm saying, ladies, you know what I'm saying? You wanna go out and buy a pair of shoes. Now, you have to deep this question. Now, if you've got a joint account, yeah, and you go out and buy a pair of shoes. Very quickly, what happens is I become the, the, the law giver to him. Like, hey, hold on a minute. Hold on a minute, here, done. Like, you're buying shoes, babe, and you're buying out a joint account. The money's slipping a little bit. But I don't have that concern when it's got a joint account. This might be married. You would want to have personal money to spend without permission from the other person. Fine. But in our case, when we earn our salaries, we put 10% into our personal account. And the rest goes into a joint account, which we spend on whatever it is that we've budgeted for the month. You know... Coming at your account, because I can't see your account. I don't know how much money you've got saved in your account. You understand? So, have your own account so you have your own freedom. Listen, just because you're in a relationship and two become one, there still needs to be independence. Because the moment we... Uh, you know what? Not, not, I shouldn't say moment. Not everybody is good enough. Okay, not everyone has got the greatest understanding enough to be able to have a joint account where they completely, totally depend on each other, meaning that they think about each other at every step of the way. They are not selfish. There is very few couples like that. I've met one. I've met one generally where they had everything joint and I was so wildly bemused by that. But the way they were, I could see why they had a joint account in everything. You're again, uh, they shared a car, they shared, they shared the food, they shared their, their money in their accounts, they shared, <laughs> brother, they were even lucky not to share a job, fam. But the thing is, the way they were, I could see why. Because they thought about each other in everything. The most important thing here is your responsibility towards one another. Even when the other person is not around. You know, I find that even when I want to spend my money, she's in my consciousness. And they ask each other in everything. Unfortunately, you lot are selfish beings, yeah? Like myself, a selfish being. I want to go and buy a pair of trainers. I don't want no one to tell me nothing, cuz. You understand? I want to go and buy a tracksuit, Adidas. I want no one to tell me nothing, cuz. You understand? So deep it that we all have, we all have that, depend that independency in us. We have that independent spirit. We want to do what we want to do. So have your own account. But make sure the money goes into a joint account. You should absolutely have a joint account. I don't want to hear nothing else, cuz. Because some of you are not financially responsible. Um... I mean, I literally have to ask her before I buy anything that I want to spend money on. So you see, there are really no rules. It's just love. And you will grow into it. And uh, my last point is also as well, um, that... Uh, <laughs> Should you know each other's sh uh, shari, shari's? Should you know each other's salaries? Salaries? Yes, I bloody think you should. And here's why. Eventually, this will come up. If you go for a mortgage, this is going to come up. Yeah? And that's going to be a shock when you realise my man's earning less or earning more than you actually expected. You get me? Let's be upfront and earnest now. I earn 30k. Okay, cool. How much you earn? 30k. Okay, cool. Now, I know you earn 30k. I'm not counting. Listen. Any man that's counting your pennies... In your own account, as in when you put all your money into a joint account and he's still trying to count how much money you got in your account. Listen, let me tell you something. That's dangerous. There has to be a scope of trust. Now, let me be this real. If I start seeing bear shopping, yeah, and I'm talking about shopping that goes extraordinary, and I'm like, babe, I'm going to ask you, look, babe, look. I mean, you're shopping bear, like, is this, is this all living in the budget? Are you using a credit card or anything like that? I mean, that's a sensible question. Like, are you using a credit card to buy all this or whatever? What's going on? Do you get what I'm saying? Because at that moment, I have to question it because there's a lot of things going on over a long period of time. And I've, I've been in cases working in bank uh, uh, that, you know, people come in and they want to do a mortgage. And actually, there's some debt that they never knew about. The partner's racked up a blood clot debt. You understand? And at that point, yes, that's what I said. When you see certain things are happening, you've got to be open and honest. So that's what I'm saying. Like, it's got to be a progression thing. And I actually have to go back on myself because I said, obviously, 
No, I said I was here, but I'm um, telling each other your salaries, yeah. So, yeah, um, you should tell each other your salaries. And don't be a, count, a penny, person who counts the penny, but also do be aware, though. What well, that means, basically, don't be too extreme on the every penny she's spending or he's spending, you're on it. And also, don't be a point where you're too lax, where oh, I don't care. No, you need to be in the middle and have a balanced position about this. Because if you do find yourself out in the debt, you're going to be pissed. I'm telling you now, if you find yourself in a debt, and it always comes up when, you're about to, when you want to do something, that's when you find out this has happened. So, yeah, and this is something that as well, I think even counting pennies, you won't do that unless you know the person is like that. I think you, this is, this is you, got, you get to know each other. This is why I don't marry in six months. This is why you got to know person how they are. And do you know what, let me tell you a little something that happened to me. I was in a relationship um, before, and um, for me... I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a budget person. I'm a bit tight. You know what I mean? I'm Ghanaian, so allow it, innit? Um, I'm a bit tight with my money. You get me? With my own money. Obviously, I expect everyone to be on budget. That means, basically, you should never overspend what you're spending. So, obviously, there was a case or situation where the other person was spending loads. And I was, like, looking at the person, like, yo, gee, I know you can't be spending this amount of money because you don't earn that amount of money. So, what's going on? Do you get what I'm saying? And that was a sticky point. That was a sticky point, a sticky situation. Do you get what I'm saying? But... At the end of the day, that discussion was had. Now, I didn't win the argument, but at the end of the day, I know I, I said my piece. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I, I let it be known. Listen, actually, do you know what? This is not probably not sensible. But there were part. There is times where you can say it, and you have to say, listen, I can't win that, and there's no point trying to win that. And there's other times where you say, I'm putting my foot down, and that's it. Do you know what I'm saying? So there's times where I've got it wrong, but I'm just being genuinely on it, openly honest. You do need to be aware of each other's finances and where you're at. You do need to be aware of each other's spending patterns in terms of the fact that are you a loose spender? Are you bad with money? If you are bad with money, trust your other partner if they're good with money. I don't understand. It's a partnership. It's teamwork. It's like being on a football team and trying to score all the goals, yet your team is suffering because you don't score the goals. You understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bruv, so anyway, listen, how long got? Oh, just in time, 20 minutes. So, guys, you already know what time it is. Oh damn, that note was a bit off. Anyway, little black book, you really know what time it is. Like, share, and subscribe. And guys, get watching the TV show. It is a really good TV show to watch. It's on YouTube. I'll put the link down below. Uh, but yeah, Brrrah! stay blessed, stay live. Yeah. It's alright. Oh. It's just love. And you will grow into it. <laughs> You're going to fight. You're going to fight a lot. But remember, you're a team. Hmm? Hashtag TON Media 2018.